several groups joined together to address safety concerns in Seattle's Rainier Beach neighborhood. King 5's Britt Moore spoke to a mother whose son was killed in a shooting in the area last week, and she hopes something changes so other families won't have to experience her same pain. Crews started installing these concrete parking stops last night as a way to help prevent reckless driving here in this Safeway parking lot. It's part of a larger effort to reduce violence in the Rainier Beach neighborhood. A community at town hall tonight discussed safety concerns not only here at this parking lot, but throughout the area. He was taking his last breaths. Like when I got in there, he was unresponsive, but I mean, he, he was still trying to breathe. 19 year old Omari Wallace was shot and killed last week during a community passageways meeting meant to help at risk youth. The group was gathering at Emerald City Bible Fellowship Church in the Rainier Valley. My son was a victim of gun violence. Katrina Les says her son's death speaks to a larger problem. About three years ago, he was shot at the liquor store in Rainier Beach. So this is the second time that He's it, that area needs to change. A community town hall Thursday night addressed the complexities of tackling violence in the area. We are all here because we want the violence to stop. A collaborative and ongoing effort. We need to change the narrative of our neighborhood from the inside out. Thanks to groups like Urban Family, Rainier Beach Action Coalition, and the Boys and Girls Clubs of King County. As a city council member, I do want to acknowledge the role of the city perpetuating this investment from this community. Seattle Council Member Tammy Morales and King County Council Member Girmai Zahulai talked about safety initiatives currently moving forward. When Rainier Beach does well, King County does well. When Rainier Beach does well, Washington State does well. Specifically addressing the concerns in this Safeway parking lot where parking stops are being installed and lighting is being improved to prevent dangerous driving late at night. Britt Moore, King 5 News.